What are we doing today, everybody? You know what I'm doing? I am here to give you what you wanted. I keep saying it, but I'm just here to give you what you want. I should be president. No, can't do that, can't do that. I'm not qualified, I don't wear a suit and tie. But I'm here to tell you what you wanted. Top 10, Andy's top 10 bass boats. My top 10 bass boats, you ask me my top 10 bass boats, I'm gonna give it to you. Now, these are just boats. They're not like just one brand, they're just, I'm gonna give you boat, we're gonna talk about it for a little bit and move on to the next one. But this is what it's gonna be, Andy's top 10, here we go. All right, number 10, my top 10 boat, coming in at the bottom end. Number 10, the new style Skeeter FXR. Yes, I said it, the Skeeter FXR. For some reason, I have a slight addiction for that boat. I know in my over-under, I said overpriced, I get it, but I like it. I told you I like the way the boat looks. I think they do very well in sales. There's a lot of tournament guys using them. They're a nice looking boat. They got a big front deck, small back deck. They got cool seats. I'm addicted to those seats. I really like the way they, they sit, they feel, they look, the dash is nice. So number 10 is a new style, I would say, last two years, FXR Skeeter, number 10. Number nine, 2015 and up Phoenix 20 footers. So we're gonna go with the new style Phoenix 2015 and up style Phoenixes. Um, yeah, good boat. Um, uh, a lot of guys running them, good fishability, good speed, tag them with whatever you want. They seem to run well, good boat. Number nine was the Phoenix. Number nine is the Phoenix. Number eight, Legend Bass Boats. The Legend Alpha Series. Wish they were still around. I wish we still had Legends around. Um, bad day when my friend and yours, Johnny, decided to pick them up and shut the doors for a good. Thank you, my friend. Um, I love the Legend. I loved what they were doing. I loved the just the little, little things they were doing. They seemed to be with the anodizing, they were doing some cool things. Their boats were cool. Uh, wide tire trail, just everything about them was just, they, they've made me feel like Champion was coming back. Like, yes, we got a, we got a guys that are just, they care about what's going on, but they're gone now. So, Legend made number eight. Number seven, the 21 foot bullet. Enough said. Speed, small council, big deck. That's it, 250, boom, gone. Just cool boat. Very well built, lightweight, not the greatest ride, but a good ride. Cool looking boat, iconic to what we do, 21 foot bullet. Number six, the mid 2000s Pantera, ba or Bass Cat Pantera. The mid 2000s Pantera model Bass Cats. I liked them, the 05, 06s. I like the way they look, um, the rideability, the speed was there. Um, cool front deck layout, saddle gas tanks, um, good boat. Really, really quality built boat, good carpeting, everything. Every, I liked it, I just, they had cool color schemes, they had cool rims, they had awesome fenders. Uh, they were just a cool looking bass boat. They were, they were modernized for their time. So um, the number six was the mid 2000s, I'm gonna say like 2005. I guess I shouldn't say mid 2000s then. Let's go 2005, 2006, 2007, Panteras. Those were, those were in on my most favorite boats. Uh, number five, the 625 Blazer. The 625 Blazer, the Kraft Brothers, been building boats forever. The 625 made me, gave me that champion feel. I loved the way it looked, it was fast, it was, it's everything they talk about. It's got the big deck. It's got the awesome layout. Um, yeah, everything they talk about, it's that. So the 625 Blazer came in at number five. Number four, yeah, Ballistic. Number four is Ballistic. Probably the newest guy to this whole thing, this list, um, Ballistic. Ballistic made number four. Uh, Jim does everything good, everything right. Uh, builds quality equipment, uh, builds quality boat. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a great boat. He does everything correct. Um, good guy to talk to, he knows what he's doing. It's a great boat, great looking boat, huge front deck, um, great fishability, speed, it, it, it's got it all, it's got it all. Number four is the Ballistic from Jim Wells. Number three, everybody's gonna fall out of their chair. 
Everybody's just gonna faint right now. But it, it, I have this slight, slightest, slightest little feel for that 518 Comanche. That 518 Comanche with the 200 on it. And I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's such a small boat and it's got a big deck, it's wide. Fishability is great. Fish is super shallow. Um, I know you put that 200 on there with a hydraulic jack plate and you are screaming down the river. Single axle trailer, it, it, there's a lot. It was iconic to bass boats when that Comanche came out and that 18 footer at 518, it was, yeah, it was cool looking boat at the time. The hydraulic, it was just, it had the small console. It wasn't this big bulky thing. Had the slight setback in the back, big front deck for what it was. Um, extremely good fish ability, like I said. Fish is shallow, fish is good. A lot of them were out there. A ton of them boats I saw come through here. Um, just a good boat, it was It was a good boat. For, for the size, for what it was, fish ability, and that's why it makes number three. It was so, for its time, it was so fish ability, tournament ready family it was just a good boat it was a really well built boat it was part of what we needed at that time because you could get into it you could fish you had ranger cup you had big deck you had tournament ready good trailer it, it was it was the boat for the time the 518 was that was the probably that 2000s model i'm thinking that i'm talking about probably 2000 99 2000 2001 that in that era uh number two one of the most iconic looking boats in the water of all time, 20 foot gamblers. Mid 2000, or the 2000 era, 2001 era, right in there, the gamblers. Um, long, stretched out, sports car looking, iconic, iconic look. Um, just one of the coolest boats ever, ever laid out in my eyes. Um, it, it's, it's not your traditional style bass boat. But man, it was on, it, it's just cool looking to me. Every line, every corner, it, you heard me talk about them. I'm in love with them gamblers. Um, it, it just does it. it, it does everything different, but yet it keeps it so you can, it's fishability. And like I said, I, I'm just super happy they're back. I'm super happy they got the name back and it's gonna be awesome. So they're number two. The 2000s model um, gamblers, the 20 footers, just yeah, so cool, so cool, so cool. Number one, yep, you just said it. I know you guys said it. You know what I'm gonna say. The 1999 203 Champion Elite, the best hull ever built in my eyes. Just the way it, it, it the 99, 2000 model, um, 2001 maybe, but that hull, that ride, that swagger, that look, um, years, years and years ahead of themselves when it came to look, when it came to the forming of the boats back in 96, 97, they just, they had it. They had the small console, they had the round, they had the, Swayed in the back, yeah. Granted, the back gas tanks are in the back. Um, the, the ride was untouchable. The cornering was untouchable. The ability to drive it at wide open, the speed was could be there. But for the 99s, if they were tagged with 99 motors, they probably weren't the fastest thing in the world. But when we're putting new motors on them, and they're yeah, it's the boat is the 99 champion for me. 203. I preferred the single console, dual consoles. I mean, go try to buy one. I mean, you you can't really get one. And I, there's guys that are selling them, but they want premium money, which they should, because they're worth every dime. You ain't gonna get one. So um, the champion, champion wins. Um, they, it just, it had everything. It had luxury carpet. It had kick seats, just comfortable. The ride was unbelievable. The, the trim work was still aluminum. The it, it was the boat, man. I mean, if you ever, if you've never ridden in one, go ride in one. And tell me they're not the boat. Just go ride in somebody's. I don't care if you don't even know the guy. Just go, hey, can I ride in that once? I want to ride in that 99, 203. Just go for a ride in one once and you'll be like, I see what he's saying. 
That's it, man. That's my bolt. The 99, right here, see it? 203 Champion is the number one bolt in my eyes when it comes to bass boats. That's the list. You want a quick rundown? Let's get it. All right, number 10, Skeeter FXR, new style. Number nine, I would say the Phoenix, the new style Phoenix, 20 footers. Number eight, Legend Alpha Series. Number seven, 21 foot bullet. Number six, is the 2005-2006 Bass Cat Pantera. Number five, the 625 Blazer. Number four, Jim Wells' Ballistic. Number three, Forrest Woods, 518 Comanche with the 200 on the back. Number two, 2000's Model Gamblers, the 20 footers. Uh, and the number one bass boat that I feel ever built is the 1999 203 Champion, single console, with the 225 on the back. That's it, that's the boat right there. Make sure you comment below on your favorite bass boat of all time. And make sure you stay tuned for next week's episode when I bring in all of the junk and I give you the top 10 worst bass boats in my opinion. So I hope you're looking forward to it because I'm gonna do it. We'll see you next week. And as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I call speed, money, and no breaks. I'm out.